back to Amy and Sean on 1027 VGS. Cool thing about this job is I get to um, use the airwaves uh, to release to stress. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, it's a lot. It's actually, I get paid to let out my frustrations versus paying a professional to hear my frustrations. Or you do both like me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, continue. I did it too. Now listen, I did it too. Hey. It's expensive though. It is expensive. Um, traveled to New York City over the weekend. And there's just, you know, I love I love flying the friendly skies. I do. It's just everyone else I hate. I hate all the other people on these planes because they're insufferable. It is like people get in travel. It's like they hit the airport and the last two brain cells that they had are gone. Like, gone. They're gone. It, they, they're they dumb. The, yeah. <laughs> and it's everyone else. We're not the problem. Nope. It's everyone else. I am um, I am what we like to call uh, JetBlue Mosaic. Uh, Jet what Blue, is that? Jet, it means I'm a, super, I'm a super flyer. I am the JetBlue. JetBlue treats me better than everyone. Why? What do you do? Uh, I just, <laughs> Why do you deserve I that? I spend money on my credit card. And they're like, okay, he's good. So, yeah, you know, this, uh, okay. this is usually how it goes at JetBlue. Okay, passengers, <laughs> uh, and for those of you that need extra time to get down the ramp or uh, for those who fought for our country, thank you, but we're going to have this guy go first. Oh, my God. He has the JetBlue credit card, and he spends a lot. <laughs> that's, that's how it goes. Uh, it's lovely. So I go, I go down. They treat me. Hello, Mr. Tempesta. Thank you for being such a lovely customer of JetBlue. I'm like, thank you. For being your best. That's oh my what I say. gosh. But uh you get to board before like people that have like laid their life on the line. No, but it's almost that good. Good grief. <laughs> it's almost that good. <laughs> you know. So I uh I, I but I'm I'm there uh at I was gonna say McCarran, Harry Reed International. Harry Airport. Reed. <laughs> this call it Las Vegas. <laughs> I have nothing against Harry Reed, but it just does not roll off the tongue at all. No. Um so I'm I'm there and I'm the first to board. Lovely. But everyone is crowded around the gate. And now the woman that is there at the jet bridge, she's having to, like, ask people to get up, and no one is moving. She's asking them to move? Excuse me. Yes, so no one should be here in the boarding area right now unless I have called your section, okay? We've had just the people in wheelchairs. Soon it will be Ms. Mosaic, but if you're neither of those, you should not be here right now. No one moves. And oh I'm talking 40, 50, 60 people are there. Oh, my God. We have wheelchairs coming up the jet bridge that need to get through. People, you need to move. No Nothing? one moves. <laughs> We're going to have to delay boarding if you got no one moves. Oh, my God. Now I'm I'm the next to board. I But I'm back. I'm back. I'm like, you know, I was I literally out loud because this, this is what I do. I, I out loud. I'm like, wow, look at all these mosaics. Man, we have like 80 <laughs> mosaics on one flight. That's so impressive. Uh, so you then, said that out loud. Yes, I did. And then uh, when they finally, okay, mosaic members, please. And like, uh, like, like Charlton Heston playing Jesus Christ or was it God? I forget which one. But I'm like, part the seas. I am here. I am here. <laughs> Let the, me through. The king is here, and <laughs> they all turn around their mouth agape as I cross past all of them. And I said, excuse me, I am special. And I walked right in. It was lovely. And I said to the woman that was, uh, you know, on the thing, she's like, uh, she, uh, she could tell she was frustrated. I'm like, well, yeah. I'm like, I'm surprised you didn't punch any of them. And she's like, I really want to, but I can't. I got priors. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> I love that. It's great. <laughs> then it's all, it's the same thing on the flights. Like when you're on the flight and you have to get out. Like what is I it? I can't stand when people get up and just crowd that middle, like the, uh, the aisle. Bro, you're in 28E. For what? Yeah. No one's moving yet. Like, why is everybody crying? And there's people trying to get to connecting flights. Yeah. Because, you know, there's always some kind of delay. There's always a delay. And people need to go. And they won't 
they just get up and stand. Yeah. You've been sitting for like four hours. What's another five minutes for you? Just stay down. I had my bag in the little upper section there, but the people from three rows behind are crowded They're in. They're up like in your space. You can't even get your bag oh, no. out to get off the plane. I get the bag. I was just, uh, excuse me. Yes, hi. I'm just going to take this. And I just come now, like probably within a whisker of their face with the wheels from my bag just whizzing <laughs> past their nose. <laughs> Perhaps they'll sit next time. I don't know. I love, I love flying and I also hate it. I also hate it. It's just everyone else. Yeah, I love traveling, but like pe the people that crowd the gate, mm -hmm. the people that are on the plane that are just dumb. Yeah, yeah. Like, what are you doing? They nearly ruin it. The turnstile or the, that thing where the pick up the bags. I don't check bags. I hate it. But then when the rest of the family comes, everyone's got to check a bag. Yeah. And then we're there and the people that, sh that are right against the belt that are up waiting for their luggage. But their like luggage just crowding here. around the thing. If back everybody up. would just stand back. Yes. If everybody would stand back, when they spot their bag, go up to the carousel. Why are you standing right up on the thing? Nobody else can get their bags. Be courteous. I People like to ruin the travel experience because they lose their last two brain cells. I swear. It's brutal. You enter the airport, it's like a different dimension. Yeah. Kathy is saying, uh, love you, Sean. Agree. LOL. It's just, I can't... Uh, I can't. I just, I can't do it. And, uh, you know, next time, yeah, it's not that I, I, I don't miss COVID, <laughs> but right? less dummies. Okay. There was just more space. Remember, there was no middle seats. Uh, you know what? I'm finding myself getting irritated with people that are like, just not necessarily at the airport, but just standing like really close to me in lines now. I got oh. so used to having that like personal space. Mm -hmm. It's frustrating me. And coughing doesn't even keep them away anymore. No, they don't care. They don't care. It's other people that I can't stand. I'm fine. We're perfect. 1027 BGS. <laughs>